Hi, my name is Olivia and I invite you to join me on my journey on the Camino Francis. Embarking on today's journey, I travel from the charming town of Castro Jerez to the picturesque destination of Carion de los Condes, where I will be staying in a unique accommodation. Keeping up with the usual ups and downs, my 14th day did not go as planned. So I still woke up with this pain in my knees and I don't know what to do because I would really love to walk. What if I'm pushing it? What if I shouldn't? I started walking, hoping that the pain would somehow disappear. But there comes a moment when our bodies, in their silent wisdom, ask us to slow down, and ignoring that will only delay the inevitable need for rest. The Camino was not a race, it was a personal odyssey. Yet, in the pursuit of ambition, the joy of the journey became overshadowed. Perhaps this was a lesson still waiting to be learned. here would have been amazing uh, but it's just foggy <laughs> we can't really see anything it's still a really nice walk though seems like I'm approaching the highest point <laughs> but unfortunately you can't see anything I'm sure this must have been sunny. At least the weather is nice because it's not too hot. <laughs>
I'm trying to film this for the second time. Hopefully this time you'll hear me better with this fancy microphone. Today is really not my day. Today is the day I'm taking a break. Started walking, my knee pain came back to a point where I started feeling physically and mentally exhausted because I need a break and I'm not taking a break. I feel guilty because as I said, if you don't want a break, I need to skip some of the Camino. Anyway, I have finally ordered a taxi. I'm now waiting for it. And hopefully after having a relaxing evening, I'm gonna be better and I'm gonna get back to normal. Because right now, I'm not feeling great. Also, that's why I haven't really said anything on camera today because it's just all kind of caught up to me take your breaks if you do the Camino book some breaks don't do what I did I forgot to mention I am in Itero de la Vega and I'm going to Framista so this is 15 kilometers that I'm going by taxi and I was feeling guilty that day but I finally decided to let go and enjoy the journey. Breaks or no breaks. It was my Camino after all. I'm now in Framista and I'm going to find Hustle. The taxi just dropped me off by an ATM because <laughs> I needed uh, some cash and then I thought I could at least walk for the seven minutes. Hopefully I'll have a nice evening and I'm gonna feel better. That's my albergue for tonight. Google Maps got me confused a little bit. accommodation and finally I got the bottom bunk. I'm happy I'm here and I like this albergue. It's called Estrella del Camino. I'm now relaxing a little bit and I'll go for a late lunch, early dinner, my one meal of the day, which hopefully will put me in a better mood. Uh, the weather is not great today either. It's overcast, which I don't think helps because every time it's like this, I'm feeling more tired. Plus, I haven't slowed down at all. This is Sunday on my second week. So I started on a Monday last week and it kind of got to me because I haven't had a break. Even that one day in Pamplona where I only walked for three kilometers to my accommodation. I still spent the rest of the day walking around the city, um, visiting the city center and all of that. So it just feels like my body needs a break. <laughs> Otherwise I'm fine, it's just that I got to a point where it's difficult to get excited because I am a little bit exhausted. Tomorrow I got a really nice accommodation booked, the best on my trip, which I'm really looking forward to. And I'm also going to be walking for a bit less. I think it's 19 kilometers to where I'm going. It's called Carillon de los Condes. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that and I'll catch up with you later. I try. It says complete on the door and the door was locked. There were people in the restaurant. Which I assume is for the actual hostel. But then why wouldn't you open the door to the restaurant? Anyway, a little bit confusing. I don't know where to eat. Okay, that's interesting. Restaurant number two was full, so 
I'm going for my third and last attempt because there aren't any more <laughs> restaurants. And I spent the rest of the evening with the people I met at my albergue. The next day, I walked with my friend, Alyssa. We stopped for a second coffee, still in Promista, because it is raining. And today's walk is just walking by the road, so not too scenic. And now with a new friend, we're deciding what to do. Accommodation. staying I was so impressed with this place when I saw it online I don't know if it's a monastery converted into a hotel or the monastery is still there and then there's the hotel too or how this works the monastery of San Zoilo continues to operate as both a historical monastery and a hotel this hotel is referred to as the Parador a term used in Spain for government-owned hotels that are typically located in historic buildings such as castles monasteries or palaces
And here we are, you're seeing this at the same time with me. As we enter the room, this is the bathroom, which has a bathtub, which is an absolute dream. And then, as we move further, this is the room. And let's see the view. Is there a view? How does this work? Hmm. One eternity later. Okay, this is the view. Very nice. I'm so happy I made it today. I've only walked for 20 kilometers, but it still felt like a lot. The weather was not great. Um, there was a lot of walking by the road, so it was not easy to keep motivated. But I made it. I'm in my hotel room and I'll relax this afternoon. I'll go downstairs for lunch and probably for a dinner as well. So looking forward to that. And I will show you around the hotel because this is a really nice hotel. that I thought this hotel was going to have was laundry and they don't. Laundry has been quite an issue for me because this is October so hand washing means that it's definitely not gonna dry especially if you're in a hostel where it's a bit colder. Some hostels but only a few have a washer and dryer which is the way to go as i said if you're going around april or october when it's a bit colder what i noticed is that the hotels and townhouses don't actually do laundry and they don't actually offer their washing machine to guests which is not great but yeah i had to hand wash some things i'm hoping that they're gonna dry or at least be <laughs> almost dried until tomorrow couple hours sorting out my video footage, relaxing a little bit. I'm now in bed and I'm getting ready to sleep so I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Tomorrow I'm walking to Levigos. It's 20 something kilometers. I don't remember exactly. One thing I wasn't exactly expecting on the Camino was to be this tired every single day. <laughs> I was actually thinking I could vlog and edit as well and do this fast-paced walking and <laughs> especially the second week I have been exhausted and I feel like in every video that's all I've been saying that I'm just feeling tired 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 and <laughs> I wish I could have given more information and I will afterwards but in the vlogs it's like just walking itself takes uh, so much energy and the sleep quality is not good enough for me especially in the shared places and at the end of the day i can barely make up a sentence that's how bad my focus gets and how tired i'm feeling so i wish i could be more excited and most importantly talk more about my experience give more information uh, but i honestly just couldn't <laughs> and as a person i am overly excited in general and i talk a lot but the camino makes you tired i noticed that everyone tends to get a 
single room from time to time because they feel like they need to recover so yeah if you want to feel sane do it at a slower pace maybe anyway thank you for watching i'm now going to bed and i will see you tomorrow